Hi, I'm Verity. This will be my 10th Three Peaks. It's quite a lot, isn't it? Here we have my specialised crooks. The modifications I've made just for the Three Peaks. I've got quite a small chain ring on the front. I think it's a 34. I haven't got the best power to weight ratio going. The cassette is a 4210. And then on the top here, to cope with the descents, I have what I call the cross tops, the Shimano brakes. I um, can't remember the official name for them. I'm fortunate to have a good friend of mine who's one of the best wheel builders around. He's built me a set of Hope Hobs, which I think they're RS4s. And then they're just on a DT Swiss rim, which are asymmetric, so a little bit more strength on the braking and the, the power side. And that's it really for the, the bike that I specifically use. What's your favourite and least part of the route on the day? Uh, favourite part is the, the descent off Wernside. It's treacherous, it's rocky, it's wild. It's people everywhere, people running, people falling. There's uh, punctures galore and all the while you're trying to survive yourself really. And yes. have you had any disasters on that descent? Uh, the first year really, just over the bars, over the bars like so many times into like uh, pits of black holes. <laughs> it was, you get it back was on? raining. Uh, yeah, some, if I could. <laughs> but it, the first time I rode it, like I'd never ridden it before and it was I wasn't expecting the size of the water bars at the time. I just never experienced anything like it. Right. Just be, coming from a mountain bike background, you were expecting to be able to mm. ride a lot of it. And, and, and you can ride a lot of it when you know what's coming, but yeah, it's pretty wild. What kit will you be riding? And if, well, just so we can spot you. So my kit will be uh, uh, this rather loud orange and blue uh, with a bit of black. It's Velofixer's kit. It's not actually in the... Uh, where, where, where is he? Yeah, in where middle, is he? In the West Midlands. Oh, right. <laughs> but he's that good, it's worth going to him. Uh, he's really good, yeah, and he's particularly good with um, uh, road bikes. And finally, last question, what's in your pockets on the day? On the day, uh, a few gels, Yeah. a couple of CO2 cans. So when you say a few gels, is it strategic? Have you got one for every climb or...? Essentially, yeah, a couple on the climb. Um, I usually get a bottle given with uh, carbohydrate in it as well. Yeah. If you can manage to grab it and drink it, it's really hard to eat and drink because yeah. you're just con it's busy just, all the time. Yeah, really right. busy. You're trying to survive. Um, you're either hanging on to someone's wheel on the road, or you've got your bike on your shoulder going up the hill, or you're crashing down a, a <laughs> descent. You know, and the last thing you think about is drinking. You just can't even let go of the bars at all. Yeah. So then CO2 and uh, a gas canister, really, Some, and a tube. Well, thank you very much. Thanks for letting us look at your bike. You're right. And we will maybe have an update once you've done the, uh, yeah, the so event and see what, see what state you're both in. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Thanks, Verity. Okay. There we go. That was a quick interview with Verity and her specialised crooks. We wish her well for the upcoming event. Whilst editing the video, it has been raining a lot. So there may be a tyre choice change. Tyre choice change? There may be a change of tyres on her bike. Anyway. If you like this video, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. Press the notification buttons because there will be more of these videos coming up. And also share it with a friend, another cycling fellow, a family member or even a stranger because of course it helps the channel. See you next time.